Hey guys, I'm Chenny and welcome back to my channel. So today, right now, I'm actually waiting for my husband to come back home to pick me up for lunch. I've been waiting for him since 11 o'clock and right now it's 1 p.m. So I've been waiting for him for a really, really long time to have lunch. But we're going to this place that's, um, it's kind of like a really, really small restaurant. If you don't know the place, haven't heard about it, you wouldn't know about it. It's almost like a food court, but it's really, really good. So I thought I would show you guys the place. You guys would have probably already seen my Chanel unboxing video. I'm actually wearing the bag today. So I'm gonna go and quickly show you guys my outfit and continue to wait for him to come home before lunch. This is what I am wearing today. Today I have a really, really simple t-shirt on. It's got some really cool details along the v-neck it's got these rings and it's a really really hot day so i'm wearing kind of shorts t-shirts and my bali shoes that you guys have probably seen a million times but honestly these are the best shoes ever like i wear them so much best shoes i have invested in for the summer but here is the chanel bag that you guys have seen me unbox I don't know how this looks with this outfit. Let me know what you guys think and whether you like, you know, this bag with this outfit or not. But yeah, so it's not really fall yet. It's the middle of the summer, but I just wanted to bring the bag out and use it since I already have it in my hands. So he's finally home. I'm about to head out to go to the place, but I thought I would show you guys my sunglasses collection. Well, my favorite sunglasses for the summertime. I did film this earlier, but the film was really bad. I couldn't, like the camera didn't focus properly. So for the whole time, the camera was not focused. So I thought I would refilm this in the car. So let's go. So guys, the first pair of sunglasses and my oldest pair of sunglasses that I still love are these Karen Walker sunglasses. I think these are really, really nice. Karen Walker's made please, the best please, sunglasses. Please, So, so what? Uh, okay. I'm filming. Okay, Anyways, sorry for that disruption. So Karen Walker makes the best sunglasses for Asian faces. If you have a relatively like bigger face and bigger head like myself, these are the best sunglasses for you. What do you think? Do you like them? No. You don't like these sunglasses? Why? No. I like the reflective ones. Oh, you like? Okay, well, because reflective ones are really in now, but these are a really good pair of classic sunglasses, I would say, that you can have in your wardrobe, your closet. It's just really, really nice to have for every outfit. Really, really easy to wear with anything. Like, you don't have to think too much. You can put them on and bam, your outfit looks good. You don't have to worry about putting makeup on. Just put the sunglasses on. <laughs> Next, I have my Carol Walkers, and these are the Harvest. So with the Harvest, I don't have the regular pair. I actually have the reflective ones. I really, really love these. Um, this is how they look on. I think these are really, really nice. It's something a bit different because it's got the reflective lens, and I really love how there's a lot of metal detail on this pair of sunglasses versus the Super Duper's. Let me know what you guys think, whether you like the Super Duper's better or the Harvest. So with the Harvest, I find that if you have a smaller face, it's a little bit, it looks a little bit better, whereas the Super Duper looks better if your face is a little bit bigger. But I do have my hair on the side of my face, which helps it make it look like it's a little bit slimmer. But it's pretty it's pretty nice on I think. What do you think? These are these are these are reflective. I like this better. You like this one better than yep, the super dupers? Absolutely. So he apparently likes these ones better than the super dupers. Oh so, yeah, super dupers. These are the harshness, yeah. That's what it is. But I got no taste, but, so it's okay. Okay, but why do you like these better? Because they're reflective? Yeah. You okay. And they they have a more uh, I don't know, trendy shape. Trendy shape, it's like smaller, an and they're rounded shape. on the side, you know. But do everything. you think it helps, like, make my face look smaller, or the other ones help more? I think this one makes your face look smaller. Oh, really? That okay. one is just too big. So the other one was too big. But I think it's because I have my hair. If I didn't have my hair, these would not look. Good. Well, if you don't have your hair, it would be bold, and it's not gonna look good anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, that's that's just him in the background. <laughs> the third pair of sunglasses I have to show you guys are Grey Ant. So these are my Grey Ant Megalast, and these were super, super popular two years ago when an Asian blogger wore them on her Weibo, and everybody, like a lot of people, had gotten these because they look so good on her, but this is how they look on me, and I really need a super oversized sunglasses whenever I wear sunglasses because my face is a little bit bigger, so I find that these are really, really nice. They're super big, 
they're a little bit different than the typical aviators they're very edgy looking there's a lot of like kind of angular cuts which I really like and these are also reflective but they have a more gunmetal kind of reflection it's more like on a darker silver side do you like do you like this one mm, this is slightly more it's more manly looking. Yes, yes. exactly, exactly. It's, this is actually unisex. It's for both men and women. It's, I think, more men wear this pair than women. Oh, we're playing Big Bang now, and I really, really love Big Bang. They're my favorite Korean I like, I like, singers. I like, I like this pair, too. You like this one? This should technically be for you, but, like, my you don't wear contacts. No, I think your face would be okay for this, but you don't wear contacts, so you can't really wear sunglasses. So the next pair I have for you guys are these Dior ones. You guys probably would have seen this a million times if you watched my recent videos, but I just really, really love these. They are pink and blue. It doesn't look like pink and blue right now, but it looks almost like pink and black. But they're pink and blue. I just think they're really cool. It's something different. It's very summery feeling. I went to Dior. I tried on so many sunglasses, and I actually can't wear any Dior sunglasses other than these. So these are the aviators, they're more oversized. The Dior so reels are tiny on me and I can't wear them. They just look so ugly on me. Every time I buy sunglasses, I need to buy oversized sunglasses where it's gonna make my face look smaller. What do you think of these? Hmm, I like these ones too. You like these ones? Yeah, they're special. Because they're, they're pink? No, no, just, you know, it has a stripe in the middle and obviously the reflective pink color is great too. Uh, I still like your second pair the best. Which, oh, my Harvest? Yeah. My Karen Walker Harvest. So he still likes the Karen Walker Harvest the best. But these are cool. So let me show you the fifth pair. You might like the fifth pair a lot more. Okay. So the last pair of sunglasses I have for you guys today are these Gentle Monster sunglasses. This is called the Big Bully. If you don't know the brand Gentle Monster, you need to look it up. It's like the number one Asian sunglasses on the market right now. Every Asian I know like owns a pair of Gentle Monster sunglasses. They are just really, really nice on Asian faces for some reason. Like they make all their sunglasses oversized. Like their popular styles are Dreamer, Absinthe, things like that. But I got the Big Bully. I think the Big Bully is a little bit more different and cool. I'm struggling to put this on, but it's, it's a little bit different. It's also that aviator look. I realize all my sunglasses have that aviator look to it, but I just think the aviator kind of style makes my face look a little bit longer and makes my face look smaller. That's why I will always tend to gravitate towards these styles. I don't know if you guys can hear me because this car is being really loud. I just turned off the exhaust. Oh, okay. So the big bully sunglasses I have are in a blue kind of lens reflection. I really love the Gentle Monsters because they actually have a flat lens. So if you look at these, they are a flat lens versus the other sunglasses I have where the lens will kind of concave or convex. Either way, I think it's a concave if it goes out. So it kind of curves out, whereas these are completely flat. So let me close this because I can't really see, but there we go. That's a little bit better. So what do you think of these? Oh well, this is really shaky. Okay. So what do you think of these sunglasses? Do I like can't these? see. I'm driving on the highway. Hold on, hold on. Turn around. Uh, they're interesting. They're flat. They're interesting. Are, they, how are they flat? The lens is flat. Yeah, it's flat. But do you like these more or you still like the... I, li I like these. Like these? Uh, I can't cool, compare right? They're different, right? This yeah. is more of a cooler, I don't know, uh, uh, what to say. It's cool. Yeah, it's just cooler, yeah. It's more cool. Yeah, it's yeah. more like trendy, more new. Exactly. Yeah, that old one. That's like you nicer. use it every day for driving and stuff. You can do that. But uh, if you want to be a little bit more fashionable, I'm pretty sure this is better. Yeah, so Gentle Monster, honestly, guys, make the most amazing sunglasses ever. I'm going to link them below. You guys should definitely check them out. They make the coolest sunglasses, the best ones that fit Asian faces. So these are my current favorite sunglasses for the summer and hopefully you guys have like some of them. I'm gonna put links to whatever I can find below. And if you guys do have the same problem as me where your face is a little bit bigger, I feel like these are sunglasses that work really well and hopefully this video is helpful to you guys. So this is the place we're going to. It's kind of a small food court and it's located at Midland and McNichol. I think the sign just said 
Evergold Center and this is the, the food court that we're going into. So this is the place that we're eating at. Everything else is pretty much closed today and there's not much open but we're eating here so at least they're open. So this is their menu and last time we had the, I think it was a pork, pork plus egg. So this is what we got. This is the rice roll that I was talking about, which is the changfen with, what is it? La chang and egg. No, it's just meat. Meat and egg, pork. And then we also got a vermicelli. This is meat In English, it's pickled cabbage vermicelli. And we're gonna eat this and it's so good. You guys should really come here and try if you're ever in Toronto. So we finished lunch and honestly the rice noodle place is so good. Like their rice noodles, chengfen, is so good. The vermicelli, not so much. It's not so great. I think it's very, very average. But like we just go there for the rice noodles. We've been there like I think twice already this week. Oh, he's just coming back. He just went to the dry cleaners. I was waiting for him in the car. And I didn't feel feel like going because it's so hot today. And he initially wanted me to go grocery shopping with him, but I didn't feel like doing that either but yeah I think we're heading home now and I'm going to end this video here with you guys so thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next time bye